Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kristen. I am a knitter and military spouse currently living in Denver, Colorado with my family, which includes my husband Shane and our two animals. So this video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit of a vloggy vlog. I have been wanting to do a vlog for a while. I've been inspired by some other vloggers that I watch on YouTube a lot and specifically Allison Pages, which is a book vlogger and she does these amazing like week-long overview kind of vlogs checking in with what she's working on because especially like books you can only read so fast and I feel like it's very similar for knitting so I wanted to do something kind of fun like that kind of a week overview kind of vlog I'll be popping in and out throughout the week to catch up with you guys but there is a little bit of a twist so this week what I am doing is I am going to track all of the time I spend knitting. At a previous craft night I was asked how much I spend knitting in a day and I kind of gave a ballpark answer of a couple hours a day. I usually wake up and knit a bit in the mornings before working out or going to work and then you know a couple hours in the evenings after dinner when we get home and a good chunk of it is spent on the weekends but what I've been doing is I've downloaded this app called boosted and I've been tracking all of my time today today is Sunday and I've mostly only been working on one project today um, I've been kind of I've been trying really hard to um, track well today I did switch to a different couple apps I really like boosted because when the timer is running it appears in you know your notifications on the top of your phone whereas the other app I was using does not have like a timer when you exit out of the app so at one point I had a timer going for like five hours which was incorrect because we went to the store and went on a walk with Sherlock so that's where I've kind of had to fudge it today because I was trying to use that app and then realize the pitfalls of that app. So now I'm using Boosted, which I've used previously to track time just because, um, but I'm excited to use it this week to show you guys. But yeah, so it's just gonna be a little casual vlog showing a little bit of the knitting time I spend throughout the week. I'll check in with the projects I've been working on and we'll see how it goes. So, so far today, it is currently 6.15 at night, and I've spent 3 hours, 9 minutes, and 57 seconds working on my Grand Gesture shawl today. Grand Gestures is a pattern by Huga Canyon that's exclusive to her Patreon members, and I'm really trying to finish this before the end of the month um, because arbitrary deadlines really do something for me, so Huga Canyon has a Patreon group that's a knit and read club. We have a discord to talk and kind of share things that we're working on. So I really want to get this done so that I can also focus on some other projects as well. So I'm so close. So this is what it looks like so far. I currently have three more rounds of stockinette in this main color to do and then I'll have four rounds of garter in my next contrast stripe which is going to be this one so that'll be my next color and then I just have an I-cord bind off um, it's currently six o'clock I think I'll definitely be able to finish the stockinette and maybe the contrast color because this will be just knit stitches versus the stockinette which is got the obviously pearls on the way back and we're look rocking about 400 stitches a row at the point at this point but I think it looks really cool so far I'm excited to get it off my needles because I feel like it is so hard to show I also feel like this is really out of my comfort zone like it's just a very high contrast, lots of colors. I love stripes, but I don't know. I'm excited to get this off to see how much I'll wear it. It's definitely my colors. I picked my favorite colors of row one minis that I had 
to use so I'm hoping I wear it and that I enjoy it. It's been such a fun knit because you have short rows to do all the sections so usually you're not working all 400 stitches at one time which is really nice and then like each of these are just so short and satisfying to do. Honestly the big German short row wedges are the hardest part for me to get through just because the ones some are stockinette and the stitch count increases but with the short rows you know you're increasing as you go which is kind of nice makes it really easy so yeah that's what I've been working on so I'm about to spend the rest of the evening probably just knitting watching a little bit of YouTube knitting podcast snuggling with Sherlock a little bit I might cook a little bit of dinner I'm unsure I'm not super hungry right now so yeah hi buddy Sherlock is here um, but yeah, I'll c catch in with you guys later. I'm excited to work on this. And I hope you enjoy this little vlog of how much I knit in a week. Sherlock is now in my lap. Monday. It's almost 8 o'clock. It's 2 till 8 o'clock. I've been drinking my coffee this morning. I've finished a cup and it's been about 45 minutes this morning watching some TV and knitting on my shawl. So last night I did end up finishing the last stockinette section and the final contrast color and now I'm working on the eye cord bind off. So I've done <laughs> this much of the bind off and I have this much of the bind off to go. I have quite a bit to go. Um, it's a wide eye cord bind off so instead of over three stitches it's over four. I think it looks really nice. So the goal is just to finish this by the end of the month. I'll probably, this will be easy to work on now um, because I just have to do the eye cord, and this is all I need. I am super stoked with how this whole shawl looks. I do feel like maybe this purpley pink throws it off a little, but I like the whole vibe. I'm pretty excited about it. So, this is kind of what I've worked on, um... I have my Boosted app. So yesterday I ended up knitting 6 hours, 2 minutes, and 54 seconds with 5 hours and 42 minutes being on this shawl and 20 minutes on a granny square. Um, this is the granny square I've worked on. I haven't showed this in a podcast or anything yet. Um, 
I'm just holding row one minis double, definitely inspired by K of the Crazy Sock Lady. But what I am doing is I am finishing colors when I make a square. So I'm going to start weighing each round to see how many grams each round takes because I keep having like this pink color. I tried doing a third round and ran out. And this purple color, I tried doing a second round and almost made it, but ran out. So I'm going to start weighing in grams so that I don't have to rip out. <laughs> because I think I'll finish around and I don't. Because I tried doing it where the squares didn't complete and it really bothered me. So I wanted complete squares all the way around. But I did 20 minutes on that yesterday after I did my workout. So I'm just kind of picking this up and putting it down as I like. Just wanted to start, I don't know, a granny square blanket sounded fun. I have a dream of like 12 inch, 12 to 15 inch, like massive granny squares. So basically I'm going to see how far I can get, like how big of a round I can get with a 10 gram mini. Because I was almost able to finish a second round with the 10 grams of the purple but just ran out like on the fourth side probably a couple in so I think I'll be able to get pretty big with 10 grams and but we'll see how big of a square I can make so yeah I just I have a lot of row one minis and wanted a place to put that and that's an easy project compared to my cozy memories which I don't want to work on which is another scrappy blanket I had going. Um, anyway, this morning I've worked 41 minutes and 26 seconds so far on my Grand Gestures shawl for a total of 6 hours and 44 minutes so far this week. One thing I do really like about this app is you can separate things by projects and tasks. So... For example, the I-cord so far, I've worked 53 minutes on the I-cord. So it's nice so you can set like smaller subsections of your project and time those sections to kind of see how long each part takes. So it took me 53 minutes to do that much of an I-cord. Which is probably, maybe I'm about a quarter of the way through. Looks about right. Okay, anyway, I'm going to put this away. I'm going to go get ready. I have to go to the chiropractor this morning and then work a little bit later after that. But I will check in with you guys as I'm knitting. And when you saw this announcement, I was just on the halfway point. I think I just finished the decrease and I was setting this up because we're off to the beach for the stitches on the sand. Tuesday. It's about 8 20. Um, didn't really check in last night. I got home. I was teaching a class on how to knit last night and got home and ate dinner around 8 o'clock and then was sitting on the couch and basically was just falling asleep. So didn't check in. I did work a little bit on my 
shawl bind off last night and I've just finished it this morning so here is my bound off shawl I'm so excited that it's off the needles it is a little I hope it I when I block it it'll stretch down a little bit um, but I'm gonna start soaking it this morning and lay it out before I clock in to work for the day over the last three days this is all I've worked on tracking time so far other than the 20 minutes on that granny square and I'm at finishing this project at 8 hours 22 minutes and 16 seconds um yesterday I knit for one hour and 59 minutes so it most of that was in the morning I think I did about 30 minutes at night um didn't really knit on lunch and only did 30 minutes or so in the evening because I was so tired but today I'm at 40 minutes so far yeah I'm really excited so I think because today is the 30th so tomorrow is the last day of the month um, I've already finished my Desert Visit Dye Work socks for the month, but I'm going to see if there's any other projects that are close that I might be able to finish over the next two days. But I'm excited to get this blocked. I think the colors look really fun. I'm just not used to having this many colors in a shawl, but I think it'll look really good be like little color pops in my wardrobe so i'm really excited i'm excited to go block this and lay it out to like really see the full effect of this whole shop so yeah i'll check in with you guys later hi friends so it's about 8 30 at night i ended up you know working cooked dinner just came back from walking sherlock and you know I finished my shawl I did a little knitting on my lunch not a lot and then I've only done a little since after dinner I was really just waiting for it to cool down enough to take him on a walk but I've knit a little bit on this campfire sock so I literally was probably like one or two rounds after the heel color so i've done about 10 or so rounds on this i worked on this while walking sherlock so that was nice and productive and then i've picked up my four keeps cardigan i've decided i'm gonna work on the sleeve so i've literally picked up the sleeve here the rest of the cardigan body is Got, I got my stitch stoppers on here. Um, I don't know. Because since I do want to make this cardigan a bit longer than what's recommended in the pattern, I feel like doing the sleeves first will be good because then basically everything is done. And then when I'm ready for the body length to be done, since it's top down, I can just switch to the ribbing at the bottom of the cardigan and call it good. And then I can like, actually try it on as I go to see what length I'm feeling. Um, I had measured another cardigan in my current wardrobe and I'm thinking 20 inches is about what I want. But I feel like doing the sleeves first will give me a good idea so I can try it on as I go. So yeah. I know I had mentioned earlier that I was trying to maybe find a project to finish before the end of the month. Although tomorrow is the last day of the month. <laughs> the only projects I have close is really this campfire sock. This is in my knit one and sew two bento bag. It's my favorite. It's great for walking and knitting. So that sock's close and also my Patreon sock from a homespun house is also kind of close. I haven't done the heel flap on it though. I'm literally at the heel flap. So, it'll be easier to do the campfire. And yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I have a couple other projects on the needles. I have my Inclinations Cow, which 
I knew that one was going to be a stretch to finish before the end of the month, and yeah, won't be finishing that. So, I'm going to kind of alternate a little bit, probably for the next 90 minutes or so, on my four keeps and my campfire socks. The campfire socks are at a good place now where I can work on them while I'm walking or if I have a meeting. So honestly, if I don't finish them tomorrow, that's also okay. But my four keeps, since it's a test knit, I really need to try to hit my goals that I've set out so I can finish in time. So far today, if we look on my app, I've done one hour and 52 minutes so far. Over the past week, we're at nine hours and 54 minutes total since Sunday. With Sunday still being six hours, Monday was almost two, and I'm almost at two today. So it's looking like weekdays I do closer to two hours. Um, today might be three. So I've got a movie queued up on Netflix. We'll see if I actually watch it all the way through. I'm really in between shows currently, which is kind of a bummer, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I just had about an hour long meeting and I worked on these socks during most of it. Sorry, my printer is restarting and it's making all the startup noises. Um, so I got a good chunk of this sock done during that meeting. So I've done about 20 rounds or so and I need to do 20 more rounds before I can do the tote. So maybe I'll be able to finish this today before the end of the month. So these are my campfire socks from Bumblebee Acres. The colorways campfires and fireflies and it's on her coquette sock base. This was an exclusive color for summer sock camp from Crazy Sock Lady. Um, so let's look at how much time I've knit this morning. I knit a bit on my cardigan sleeve for a good chunk of the morning. And yeah, so today I've done two hours and 18 minutes with an hour this morning and about an hour during a meeting. So meeting meeting is some of the best. That's why I always need some easy stockinette because I need something to do with my hands during a meeting. Anyway, so now I'm about to go into the store. Um, so I'll probably end up doing a little less knitting. I am teaching my sock class tonight. But I'll take that with me, and I'll check in with you guys soon. Good evening! Sorry the lighting is very weird. We only have these two lights in the living room, and it's dark outside. It's about 8.15 at night. I'm home from work, taught my class. Guys, I'm ready to do the toe on my sock. Between both the meeting this morning that I was able to knit and my class where I was able to knit. I'm gonna finish this sock tonight. I'm so stinking excited. So I'm literally about to start the toe and then I need to post this sock and my DK sock that I had finished a couple days ago before this video to Ravelry project pages because both the Desert Visit Dye Works project page and um, Crazy Sock Crazy Sock Camp Summer Sock Camp ends tonight and both of those are entries for Summer Sock Camp so I'm so excited that I'm going to be able to finish this another skein out for this month and yeah I'm really excited so <clears throat> sorry my throat um 
Yeah. Today I've knit for a total of three hours and 40 minutes. The meeting today really helped my average get up a little bit. Yesterday my total was two hours and 40 minutes. So today's looking like it's a little bit of a longer day. My average so far for seven days, my average is about three hours and 35 minutes of knitting a day. So I feel like this is good information to know because I was able to, when I was working on my cardigan and I've done this much of the sleeve after knitting this morning and last night, I kind of know that so this took me two hours and it's four inches. So it takes me about 30 minutes to do one inch. So it like helps me plan. Like if I only knit for two hours a day or whatever, my average is how long it will actually take me to do my knitting to like set reasonable milestone goals. I don't know, kind of a dork like that. So. <clears throat> Again, sorry the lighting <laughs> at night is kind of not great, but I'm going to settle in. I'm going to work on this toe and then get my photos posted to Ravelry. I'm so excited. It's 9.30 at night. I have done no knitting today. That normally doesn't happen. I can't think of a single day where I haven't knit in a long time. Yes, this is my sleep hat for my curly hair. And yes, I have a retainer because I was going to go to bed and then I realized... It was only 9.30 and hadn't knit yet, and I want to watch one YouTube video. And then I'm going to go to bed. I had a busy day. It was Stephen West, Mystery Knit Along, Yarn Requirement Reveal Day. So I made tons of kits for Fancy Tiger today. So I hope they sell. It's what I did all day. I was very excited. I'm excited, <laughs> but now I'm going to knit for like 30 minutes on my, my cardigan. And then I'm going to go to bed, and you'll probably get more knitting tomorrow. I mean, I'll get more knitting. You'll get more video content of me knitting. Uh, thank you guys for watching these videos. I've had fun making this like average knitting throughout a week. This has been kind of fun. I like to know what I've been up to. <laughs> but I was like, wow, a day without knitting is kind of an anomaly. So just getting all the ups and downs. Anyway, I'm gonna knit now. Hi friends, I'm checking back in. So it's currently Saturday morning. I don't think I really did a check-in Thursday or Friday just because the days are really busy. I really didn't knit too much, but it's now the weekend and literally my plans for today are to edit this video. I'm about to edit and then knit. So I've knit a little this morning. I did about an hour or so on my four keeps cardigan. And with that, I think I have a little bit of a plan because I was able to track. I kind of know it's going to take me about two hours on the body to do an inch, whereas on the sleeve, it takes me about 30 minutes to do an inch. 
So with that, I'll be able to plan how much I need to do each day on the sleeve versus the body to get it done by the deadline. So I find that information really valuable. But over the last four days, so today's the last day of my little tracking challenge that I'm doing here, I've done 19 hours and 48 minutes so far over the last six days, and my average daily amount is two hours and 49 minutes. So I'll keep you guys updated. I'll probably show you a little bit of knitting once I'm done editing this video. And then yeah, once this video is edited and up to YouTube the rest of the day. My plan is really to knit and just kind of relax this weekend. Hi, so I'm done editing my video. It's going up, it should be up in about an hour, although it will have already been up for you, but in my time, in one hour. I, it's about three o'clock. I ate some lunch, took a little nap. You'll probably hear Shane playing video games in the background because he's loud. But <laughs> I'm going to eat a donut. And I've done a little math for my For Keeps cardigan. So based on the fact that I can do about an inch of a sleeve in 30 minutes and an inch on the body in about two hours, I have about... 48 hours of knitting left on this cardigan. I also have 15 days to do that. So I need to knit an average of 3.2 hours a day on this cardigan, which with my average having been about three, almost three hours a day, this cardigan is going to be most of my knitting for the next foreseeable future and that's saying I'm gonna knit it much longer than what the cardigan originally is called for I may after finishing the sleeves decide that I want it shorter but with that so 3.2 hours a day so that means today I've knit half an inch on the body so that's an hour so I have 2.2 hours left so about four inches on a sleeve to do so we'll see I finished this morning what I ended up doing is because I started working on the sleeve and then I switched back to the body just to finish the skein of yarn that was attached to the body because since I had a skein attached to the sleeve and a skein attached to the body they were getting all tangled together so I just I knit about four rounds half a repeat on the body just to get it to the end of its ball so now it won't tangle around itself so I'm gonna put my needle stoppers on the body and start working on the sleeve I should try to do maybe I said four inches which would be two hours I could do four and a half inches would be two and a half hours. Basically, I'm gonna work on this for a good amount of time. Maybe extra, just to see how far I can get. I don't really have, I do, I was gonna say I don't really have any other projects calling me right now. However, I do wanna work on my Winter's Beach a little bit. Because working on just one, the problem is like obviously I work on this and I see progress, but you want to see faster progress. And it's kind of sad that it takes what two hours to get one inch of the body. So that's where the sleeves at least will be a little more motivating to knit. I think I'm definitely a product knitter. I like seeing the finished object at the end. But anyway, I'm going to pop on a podcast probably. I don't know which one. And I'm going to eat my donut and I'm going to knit on this. Happy Saturday.
Hi, good morning all of you. This is Editing Kristen. I'm working on editing the amount of time I spend knitting in a day vlog, and I realized I never filmed an outro. So here's Editing Kristen to do that. Also, please excuse this on my face. I was eating a pizza roll, and I bit into it, and the sauce got on my skin, and I burned my skin off. So that's what that is. I just feel like it's a funny story and I have to tell everyone. So, I have finished editing the vlog, working through it. I spent the time tra tracking how much I knit in each day. And since then, like finishing the recording of the video, I've also kept doing um, tracking of my time. And what I really like about Boosted is I can do a reports. And so for the last... 30 days, I knit an average amount of 2 hours and 48 minutes and 1 second. With, over the last 30 days, I have tracked 9 different knitting projects and 5 different tasks. And that's where I can put in like, oh, I'm working on the sleeve of my 4 keeps versus the body. Or like the eye cord on a project. So, if I want to know how long a specific section is taking, I can add those in as well. So yeah, that's how much I knit in a day, about two hours and 49 minutes. So it's close to about three hours each day. When I was sick the last couple, like the last week, there were a couple days where I just didn't track, barely knit at all. And yeah, so I feel like that's a good amount. It's not as much as you think it would be. Like that's an average on a day. So there are some weekdays where I really only get my 45 minutes like in the morning and then when I'm home after dinner I probably do another 45 minutes so it's only like 90 minutes total but then on the weekends I can do like five to six hours if we're not going out and doing anything really so that's where that average can kind of be nice to kind of know what I can do in a day so I also just wanted to say if you watch this vlog through to the end thank you so much. As I'm editing this and going back, I have much to improve on when it comes to vlogging. I really want the vlogs to be something fun and entertaining to watch, so I hope this was that, and I wanted to give you guys this vlog even though I see so much room for improvement, but I told you guys I was going to give you this vlog about how much I knit in a day, and so I wanted to deliver that even though there's so much I want to do differently in vlogs and like chat with you guys throughout when I'm vlogging. So I'm hoping to do lots more vlogs in the upcoming future and I hope you guys enjoy them. I hope you're here for the journey. If you are, thank you so much for your support and time. I'm learning on how to vlog and film as I'm doing this as like my side hobby. Um, it's really fun, but it's always, there are things that I want to improve on. So. If you made it to the end, like I said, thank you so, 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 so much. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did like it. And if you're not subscribed, please feel free to, to be notified when I post future videos because I spent some time the other day planning what I want to bring to you guys and I have some fun ideas. So I'm hoping to execute and that you guys will be here for a part of the journey. So. As always, thank you so much for clicking, thank you for watching, and thank you for your time. I hope you're putting a little bit of love in every stitch you're making, and I'll see you guys again very soon.